Hey guys, welcome to my coffee date Thursday. I know I look a mess, I'm making breakfast, we're leaving for vacation today, but I was watching everyone else's coffee date Thursdays because it's already Thursday, and I realized that I have a really good story for this week's coffee date Thursday. I think the prompt was, what happened that you didn't think you would live through? Well, I got a really good story. So, me and my mom and my mom's boyfriend were on our way to pick up my sister from her boyfriend's house. My sister was going through these phases where she just, she wasn't behaving, she was really rebellious, so we basically had to drag her out of her boyfriend's house to get her to come home. So we got her out of the house, and we get her in the truck, and we start driving home. And she starts hitting my mom and going crazy going through she's just a teenager she just was going crazy like teenagers do so she bails out of the truck sorry so she bails out of the truck and i chase after her so that she doesn't like run away so i get her down and i sit on her so she doesn't run and i hear this noise behind me mind you we're in like there's a cornfield here and there's a cornfield here and we're on this road right between them so I have her like right here in this cornfield just like sitting on her so she doesn't run away and um, I hear something behind me something running so I turn around and it's a guy in his underwear carrying a gun like a big gun um, come to find out it was a Russian assault rifle so he's running in his underwear, he's got boots on, he's got a gun. So I'm just like in disbelief and I'm staring at this guy. And he gets up, like, I'm sitting, on, on, me and my sister are on the side of the road, like in the ditch. And he runs into the middle of the road and points his gun at us. And I'm still like, is this really happening? So I get up and I run back to the truck and I'm assuming that my sister was behind me but she wasn't. He took her and he threw her back down into the ditch and told her to stay down. And I look back because my mom's running towards my sister and I grab my mom and I look back and this dude starts shooting at us. There's bullets bouncing off the road in front of me. Like bouncing off the road. Sparks going off of them. And by the grace of God, we didn't get shot. He was aiming at us. I was looking down his barrel. My dog's outside doing something. But I was looking down his barrel. And you ever heard about people that are going through something like that, having adrenaline rushes and like getting super strength? I got super strength. And I lifted up my mom, who was way bigger than me back then. I was probably only 16. I lifted her up and I tossed her like a rag doll in the back of the truck and then I jumped in the truck and I was looking over the cab at my sister who was still in the ditch and I had my mom's head and I was like holding her down because I thought we were gonna get shot I thought we were gonna die and I thought well at least one of us will it'll just be me that dies and not her so I had her head down because I, I didn't have any kids at the time. She had two other kids and you know, if one of us was gonna die, it might as well be me. So I was holding her head down and he's still shooting and going crazy. My stepdad, they might've been married at that time. My stepdad throws it in reverse and backs up really fast. And then, so, he, so like we can't get shot at. And then my sister finally jumps up and runs towards the truck and jumps in the truck. So, you could look at this like a lot of different ways. This guy could have been thinking that I was trying to hurt my sister. He could have thought that I was beating her up. Okay, maybe that's true, but you don't just come outside shooting people. You don't do that. So, needless to say, as all this was going on, my stepdad called the police. The police got there, like, right after my sister jumped in the bed of the truck. 
and the dude takes off running through a cornfield and the cops, this is like straight out of a movie, the cops point their guns at him, they're like on their sides of the their car and they're pointing their gun at him telling him to get down. So he gets down, he puts his gun down and um, that's really all I remember. Like. It, hap it was so crazy that I think I blocked a lot of it out. It was so surreal that it happened. My mind just couldn't comprehend what was going on. I lost my butter knife. So yeah, that's my, um, my coffee date Thursday there. That was like some serious stuff. Like, straight out of a movie. And... I think about it all the time and it was right after um, Britt and I had got together if you guys watch my vlogs I, vlog, I vlog every day and I, I'm talking like you know Britt but Britt's my husband he was at home with my little brother watching him while we went to go get my sister so we get back and we're all like in tears and we're shaken up and I got blood running down my knees because of when I jumped into the bed of the truck. I like jumped from the ground to the bed into the bed of the truck. Must have been like an adrenaline um, adrenaline thing. So I busted up my knees really bad. And he's just like, what the heck happened? And then we told him and he just I don't think he believed us for a really long time. Until we had to go to court for this guy. And um, for some reason, they didn't let me testify against him, probably because I was a minor. And his attorney was, like, really mean and could, like, twist words around and stuff. So I didn't get to talk to him. But he ended up going to prison for attempted murder. Now that's some crazy stuff right there. So anyway, be sure to check out all the other girls coffee date Thursdays. I'm, su I'm sure they have some interesting stories. But um, yeah, that, that was some crazy times, you guys. I'll have uh, the link to the coffee date Thursday playlist in the description below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.